this. Somebody come look at this. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So this is a highly requested video of me showcasing my kit and what I'm currently using at this moment. So right now, this is what I use. And this is a two-part compartment travel case that I purchased from Amazon. And I will put the link for that down below. I definitely want to give a shout out to Chanel Sorrells and Sweet Nothings, Giselle Nunez, because they use this as their kit and i could not find the second compartment anywhere even if they like if i asked somebody to send me the link and it ended up sending me the only one compartment but i needed the second compartment way more than anything so this was around 50 to i think it was like 50 bucks for the two compartment and it is an extra large so that is what i'm currently using and before we get into the kit i want to showcase exactly what i bring with me in a different bag um, when it comes to that, there's different things that I carry with me, so let me show you that. I bring with me a book bag, it's like a black leather book bag. I haven't purchased the Zuka because right now I feel like I don't carry as much, so I don't really need to carry a big book bag. Something a lot more slimmer, easy for me to carry with because this is enough. So I carry a bag of lashes. And this compartment I purchased on Amazon, depending on the clients of how many clients that I have, if I do have a big party, I always bring a big bag full of lashes. Um, the main lashes that I do use is Coco, AliExpress, Lily, Ardell, um, Absolute New York, and I believe that's it. But if I don't have a lot of clients, I end up bringing like a lash case full of different styles for them to choose from if it's a small party but if it's a big party I carry a big bag the second thing that I do carry is my pigments these are my babies I carry this with me all the time so inside I have Arts Couture, MAC, um, Colourpop and my Stila liquid eyeshadows so that is what I carry inside the bag as well then I carry not this big thing in general, but I carry what's inside of it. In this bag, I ended up purchasing like a smaller compartment so that's easy for me to carry with. But before, this is what I was using. I carry lip wands, mascara wands, sponges, q-tips, eyeshadow shields, and eyelash curler. I have different curlers, but this is just what's in this one, so it's like a spare. Um, but before, I was using a carrying this big one. Now, um, I just put them in a little compartment in the case because the one that I ordered isn't here yet and I got it from Aliexpress so that takes a while but this is basically what I purchased and anything of disposables you can purchase on Aliexpress if you want to save a lot more money but if you need them right away you can look at your local beauty supply stores CVS um, certain department stores have that honestly so I carry that and then, depending on lighting that I need, I'll carry my Lowell Total Light. This is a warm light. This is mainly for photographers that need that warm light. You're able to get one of the Lowell Total Light where you're able to use warm and white light. With this one, it's more warmer. It helps me with pigmentation on a client's skin and giving me a different type of look of how the client's like natural beauty pops out. So I use this. Um, I bring that with me. But sometimes I use the white ring light, which I'm using at this moment. Um, it's easy to carry with a little bit. Um, but honestly, I, I'm trying to save up so I can get the makeup light because it's easy to travel with. But it's really expensive and I need something a lot more convenient for me to carry with because I do carry a lot. And then I finished with a client today, so I do carry my Makeup Forever um, brush holder. So let's get into the kit. All right, so this is a top compartment when you open the second top part of it. And when it comes to that, these little um, slip covers right here, I have different things inside of them. So for this one, I carry pigments. Um, and these are the P. Louise bases and Danessa Myricks that I carry. If you want more vibrant colors when it comes to eyeshadow, I definitely recommend the P. Louise bases. I do have a small container with P. Louise rumor base inside of it this is like just my extra one if i have to refill it but i do i did purchase these from her website when it came to the vibrant colors you're able to purchase that in um an actual like case full of all the colors like um 
a bundle. I can't really think right now. Um, but I have that. And then here I have my Silver Beauty Hydro Liners. These are water activated liquid liners. And I purchased these because these give a look a lot. These give the look a lot more of like vibrancy to it. A lot more like oomph. Um, because you're able to use neon colors. And with this one, the only thing that I will definitely say is be careful when using this if you're like layering it too much because then it cracks. So like two layers the most, but these are as pigmented as you would, like they, these are super pigmented. Um, I do carry a black towel. And then I carry hair clips. These are butterfly hair clips so that it doesn't crease the client's hair if it's done. Business cards, a scrunchie. And then this part, let's get into. All right, so I wanted to zoom in a little bit more just so that you guys can um, see exactly the close-up of everything. I'm literally taking step-by-step step of how I'm recording this because I really want you guys to see it all. So the top part, you end up seeing palettes. And then underneath this, there's a different um, visible, breathable compartment where I have other things inside of it. Still in the second top compartment. So on the top part, I have... My brow products, I have all the Anastasia Dip Brows. This is a compartment from Michaels. This is for crystals and studs and little things. But I was like, you know what, this would be really dope to put all my dip brows in. I have the Brow Pro Palette from Anastasia. Um, I'm not going to get into that yet. These are my travel size makeup wipe compartments. I purchased these at the store in Flushing Mall. Um, the store is called Daisio, and these were about like $2, but it's really convenient because I'm able to open it and then put um, my makeup wipes inside of it instead of having to travel with the actual like um, container, well, plastic that it comes in. So makeup wipes and baby wipes. Then I have this little um, travel case where I have my cotton rounds, eyeshadow shields, and sponges. And I purchased this from AliExpress. It was like a dollar. Um, palettes. So there's only a few that I carry with me. And these are the main brands. So Juvia's Place. Because Juvia's Place is very pigmented. So I carry four palettes from her. Then I have Colored Rain, the Vivid Brights. I carry this because you never know if your client needs a vibrant color. Um, but Juvia's Place, some of, her, some of the palettes have it. So I have... These four only because there's a mixture of different tones, different textures, different shimmers. So I carry that, these four, because of that. I have the Morphe. This is a 25A Copper palette. I love this because it has warm, taupey, um, warm, taupey shadows um, in here that you're able to use with anything. And then you have shimmer shadows as well. This is a interchangeable, interchangeable eyeshadow palette that I purchased years ago, but I just needed the palette. Um, so whatever was in here, you're able to um, change, obviously. So I customized it with Coastal Scent shadows that are very reasonable price. They're like a dollar or a couple of cents sometimes. Um, then on the bottom are my go-to MAC Dazzle shadows. These are super pigmented and I definitely recommend these in a kit. But I use these main colors when it comes to like brides or like a natural, natural, natural eyeshadow look. So I have that. Let me move this. And then right here, I have different Z palettes. So I have the powder highlighters. So I have Nicole Guerrero, Fenty, Kevin Aquan, cream highlighters on top. These are all MAC. Then here I have contour um, shades. So I have Kevin Aquan, Black Radiance, Fenty, and MAC. So I have that there. And then let's get into this compartment right here. All right, so the second compartment, it has like this breathable, a zipper area where I get to hide more stuff so in here I do have a travel size trash can and I just open it like that and then I use doggy bags um, which helps me save a lot more money because before I was using like Ziploc bags um, but I purchased both of them on Aliexpress and they were like a dollar each um, the doggy bags I think were like 50 cents though I only got two rolls, but you could get like a bunch more. 
so I have this. I have a Muji mirror. I have a mixing palette. I have my brush folio that Priscilla Lano, she is Rihanna's um, main global makeup artist for Fenty and she created this so this is a brush folio where you're able to carry your brushes on a stand and these have um, stretchable elastic sections here and you're able to put a brush on here so like I can just open it and then it stays like that so I carry this with me all the time because it's just like you never know if you need to like grab a brush right away or um, you need to carry extra brushes and you don't have like a brush holder, like a spare one. So there's that. And then I just put it right there. Business cards, I have them everywhere. Because it's like you never know, girl. I have a fan here. And then I do carry this Husky light. This is a white light. I got it at Home Depot for like 10 bucks, um, and it comes with batteries that do last a really long time. I purchased this because I was watching Glam Tech Steven, and when I was watching him, this is just something that's convenient if you're not able to bring a ring light or any sort of light with you. Let's say you're on backstage doing a fashion show, this white light helps you see um, where you need to see when it comes to like applying makeup. Um, the type of pigmentation on the skin tone because it's like white and then it gets warm So that's a really good thing. You can clip it onto your t-shirt You could put it like hold it in your hand and put it on the client's forehead You honestly never know when you're gonna have bad lighting, but this is just something to carry as a backup So that's what I have in this compartment So let me put all of these away Right now this is the second compartment um, when you open the bottom part to it um, and then on the top part as you can see there's little slip covers where you're able to put like pencils eyeliners whatever so I'm gonna zoom in on that part first and then we're gonna jump right into the bottom part all right so when it comes to this top part I just carry different things that are small and easy to carry with so I have my lip pencils I have my nudes my pink undertones my taupey colors, the main ones that a lot of people like to wear now. And then I have my vibrant colors, my warm colors of brown tones and purples and reds and orange. So that's what I have here. The main brands that I do carry um, when it comes to lip pencils is Morphe, NYX, and LA Girl. And then I also have like Huda Beauty, Kat Von D, but like my main brand is like Morphe that I love to carry. And when you purchase the actual pencil, it's really, really big. So... That's why you see like how big it is here, but this is used so it gets a little bit longer when you purchase it um, brand new. And then here I have like some of my disposables, so I have like lip wands, I have eyebrow pencils, I use mainly Absolute New York, and then I have LA Girl, but Absolute New York is my main brand that I like to use. The formula and pigmentation is similar to Anastasia, formula is similar to the Benefit, so I definitely recommend that. Um, then here I have, I feel like I got a mosquito bite. Yep, I got a mosquito bite. Um, and then here I have pencils, like eye pencils and eyeshadow sticks. So eye pencils, like eyeliners, I have LA Girl, NARS, Makeup, Makeup Fiber? Yeah, Lorac, MAC, Marc Jacobs, and then eyeshadow sticks. I have La Mercier, I have Sephora, NYX, and Pixie. And then I do have liquid liners and liquid pens. So I have Fenty, Stila, and then for liquid liners, I use Ruby Kisses. You can purchase these for like a dollar or two dollars at your local beauty supply store. These are similar to the NYC liquid liners, and they do come in different colors. So I carry black, brown, and blue because you never know. And the blue is actual like royal blue. And then mascaras, these are my main ones that I like to carry. Um, so I have milk and Sephora. Alright, so let's get into the good part now that everybody's been waiting right, for. Now this is everything that everybody's been waiting for. Um, so here is the bottom compartment. These are my holy grail products that I use when it comes to doing a job. Now, 
I'm gonna go in different sections um, so that I can explain everything of why I carry things and the brands and so forth. So this compartment right here is primers, skin, um, glow products, um, mostly like skincare. I do carry a lot of skincare because that is like my main thing when it comes to taking care of my client's skin because if they're not taking care of it, I'm gonna take care of it. Um, so that's the main thing that I carry here. I have tools as well. So I do have a Muji case inside of here which comes with six compartments and in those six compartments I have different things separated. So on top I have the Becca, this is this is the under eye primer. So the good thing about this, this has more of a cooling sensation to the under eye area when you apply it. It's a primer because it helps with um, creasing, it helps with the sensation of the puffiness for the under eyes so it helps stimulate it so that it pushes down the puffiness and tightens um, everything back to normal so I do have this it's like when you brush your teeth in the morning and you need to refresh in it that's what this is for the eyes and then I have my brush cleaner from Cinema Secrets in my toolkit I have two lash glues I have the clear one from Duo and then I have the black one as well from Duo if you mix them together it makes the lashes last way more longer but I do love to use this because a lot of my clients, if they are sensitive, they do not get allergic to it. Um, I carry scissors, lash um, tweezers, regular tweezers. I have a lash curler. I don't like to use the other lash curler because I do like when I'm able to do it without my clients flinching. flinching and these do help me with that. Um, if you're hearing talking right now, it's my brother and my mom because being Puerto Rican, nobody knows how to lower their mouth. Their mouth. Um, but yeah, so I have that in this compartment. Um, then I have hand sanitizer, hand cream from Grown Alchemist. Then this is my lip section. So I have a lip balm from um, Grown Alchemist. I have lip conditioner from MAC. And then I have a lip scrub. I always recommend to bring a lip scrub because you just never know. And doing clients' lips, you want them to be ready and luscious. So that is my go-to. And everything is organic for the lip products except the lip conditioner. I don't necessarily feel like it is organic in a way, but I like organic stuff, honestly. Um, then in here, I have different small... Um, travel size items so i have sunscreen this is spf 30 and i use that when it comes to clients that have hyper hyper pigmentation and acne prone skin or redness so that definitely helps but in general put sunscreen on your client's skin because it helps with just their pigmentation naturally coming through and healing of the pigmentation that is disturbing their their beauty um, but I carry the Dr. Brandt No More Baggage because this is really good for mature clients when they do have the puffiness under the eye that is hereditary. It helps with darkness in the under eye area. So you leave this on the under eye area for at least one minute and it helps stimulate the puffiness going the opposite way. And it, it's like a nice little Botox for the under eye for the moment. Um, so there's that. Then I have the Makeup Forever Matte Primer. And here I have glow products. I have the Giorgio Armani Fluid Sheer in number two. And these little small containers. I have the Danessa Myricks um, Her Illuminator. So I have Goddess and Serenity. And then we're going to get into this part. So these little jars. There's a bunch of them. I have the Pixie Hydrating Rose Flash Bomb. This is super, super hydrating. I have the Bosha Mattifying Primer. If you want a primer that is not silicone based, I definitely recommend this one because it feels very wet and liquidy, but it dries up like a mat without the silicone effect to it. And I carry a big jar because this is something that I end up having to refill consistently. Then I have the Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer. I carry the Too Faced Hydrating Primer. I have the Makeup Forever Green Primer and then the Makeup Forever Blue Primer. The green helps with redness on clients. So if you have a client who has freckles and they like to showcase their freckles through makeup, this really helps with the redness. And then Blue Primer, this helps with if you kind of overdid it in a way with um, putting 
too much of a color on a client that is showcasing either too light or too dark this helps with uh, readjusting it so i do carry that and then when it comes to these products here i have benny eye final seal mario Badescu setting sprays i have the tatcha cleansing oil and then i have vitamin e oil i have the Wilda Nour light nourishing cream this is a super hydrating moisturizer it is vegan which is really good um but it also helps with giving such a nice um hydrating look to the face helps with pigmentation as well glow products i have body bronzer that i created the patrick ta I have the Melanie Mills Deep Gold, I have the Melanie Mills Rose Gold, I have the KKW Body Shimmer, I have a toner from Pixie, I have the La Mercier Eye Makeup Remover, I have the Olay Hangtrix, I have um, the Banana Eye Cream, I have the Tatcha Moisture Silk Cream, and then I have the Drunk Elephant Whipped cream so these are a lot of hydrating moisturizers so that i have in here next i have foundations and concealers and you know complexion products so i have my black radiance stick foundations my danessa myricks um evolution foundations i believe that's the name of it i can't really think right now of it and then these are liquid foundations that i ended up um transferring into these travel size containers i feel like they're a lot more convenient for me i have the studio fix from max the Too faced born this way radiant concealer and then a color corrector from sephora when it comes to the brands of foundations i like to carry different things because i don't a lot of my clients do not necessarily like to wear full coverage they like to wear medium or light or that no makeup makeup not everybody likes the full coverage or just a f like you can do full coverage with it looking like it's no makeup makeup so different brands do that for me i underpaint when it comes to my clients so some like the really deep beat face where it's like you can tell that they're wearing a whole bunch of shit but then i have clients where it's like they don't want to look like they're wearing makeup they want to look like themselves so that's what i have in here then i have um palettes so i have the cover girl the full spectrum this is the correct and conceal this is really good for medium to deep skin and then I have, this is the Benny Eye Foundation Fair Medium Palette. I use that as concealer or foundation. The good thing about the CoverGirl is that the color correctors are very vibrant and pigmented. So it really it helps with discoloration on deep skin. So I do carry that. Next, we're going to go into powders. These are the only powders that I carry. So I have Danessa Myricks Evolution Powders, a mixture of Benny Eye and... Um, derma blend i have the kat von d brightening powder then i have little um jars here which are different things so i have the mac vintage paint pot i have the p louise base i have the Too faced glitter glue i have the brown gel liner from mac i have the black track gel liner from mac then on this side, I carry my sponges um, there. Then up here, I carry this breathable bag of Beauty Blender and Real Technique sponges. So I carry that and I put them in this section right here. Then I have my lip glosses. They're different brands. So I have Dose of Colors. I have Molly, um, Molly Beauty. I have MAC mainly. Then behind that, I have... My view sets where I depotted lipsticks. I depotted lipsticks in these containers right here. Um, so I have my nudes, my taupes, um, and warm toned colors here. So as you can see. And then I have more nudes on top and warm toned with vibrant colors. So I carry these with me at all times. And then over here I have compact powders. These are the main ones that I do like to carry. So I have the La Mercier. This is a Candelo Sheer Perfecting Powder. I have the Bobbi Brown. This is the Highlighting Powder. So these are good to add to the skin to give it more of a hydrating look versus to it looking super highlighted. So this gives it a nice healthy glow to the skin. 
I do carry my Sephora Micro Smooth powders. I have my Iman. These are the luxury powders. These are more of a matte finish, so I do like to carry those. And then another Iman, and then my MAC Mineralize. I carry those in different tones, so these are the only powders that I have here because I can maneuver and work with the colors that I have and create something to match the client's skin tone. And when it comes to using the Iman Luxury Powders, since those are more matte, I like to use those more of like the matte finish in certain areas and then I'll use the mineralized powders from MAC as like the essential glow giving the skin the healthy look to it and then I always you know add the La Mercier and Bobbi Brown on top of it just to give it more of the hydrating look without the super highlighted effect to it but honestly that's basically it this is my kit and I hope that this video you guys are able to see. So if it does go up, it's because I did not have not one problem. And I just want to thank you guys for um, keeping up with me and waiting for this video. Because the same way you waited, I waited because my camera is trying to play me. My computer is trying to play me. My memory card is trying to play me. But I wanted to continue trying because I wanted you guys to see this video. But I'm going to put the links down below of like the compartment. I'm going to put down like the containers. Um, I definitely recommend if you're looking for containers and whatnot, check your local beauty supply store, the Muji store, anything that has to do with like little compartments. And it saves you a lot more money. So thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for my next video. You good?